one day I'm going to get a tripod or something <laughs> to stop with this ghetto setup. But anyway, I'm going to work with what I have while I have it. Now, I'm coming back to show you um, the results of the grease, the a flat, twi flat twist I did using Royal Crown on top of some Kimmy Tube leave-in conditioner. I have, for those of you who don't know, I have type 4 hair. I'm not sure if it's, I want to say it's 4B, A or B, because I really don't think it's C, um, but it's definitely, definitely 4. It's nowhere near 3. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm removing my straws that I had at the tips of them and the pins that I had holding, stretching the, the twist out to give me a little length. Though I did it on dry hair, um, I could use always use more length, right? Uh, if you're asking why the straws, the straws get me this. I get this at the end. And that's my point. At the end. You see? See that right there? Not, um, see the perm rod, will, the, the barrel, even the smallest one, is too big. This is tiny enough for me to just do a couple of one, two, threes at the end, pin it in place, and when I take it out, I get this little tiny bend on the end with this stretched and just this on the I'm end. I'm taking the a little bit of shea butter, coconut oil, I don't know, forgive me, and I'm going to, something is hurting me on my finger, I don't know what that is, and I am putting it all throughout my head, gosh what is that, just a little bit. Focusing on the ends. All right, so I'm just taking it and I'm being very, very careful because I want to make sure that it falls properly. See, so I've got to put a little bit more into the base of it because it's not just twisted, it's plat. It's a plat, partial plat. Okay, but that even that is very carefully done. And as you know, our hair. Here we are. I fluff it out a little bit, so I'm just going to give you a turn. See that? Okay. I got to make this quick because I got to go. On a scale from 1 to 10. I like this on the level of a seven. Um, and I, but I can't say that it's the grease. In fact, I don't know what it is. It's just it's okay. It's all right. I just know my hair. And I got a funny, funny, scary feeling that this thing is going to swell up and I'm going to be back to my normal poodle. So I'm reluctant. Very reluctant. Because some parts are extra defined while others are not. Others are like just hmm. I don't know. You guys are not helping me. I really don't. I'm I mean I'm very honest about this. I don't know what to do. Um because it's the frizzy parts that I really just wanna that I really wanna do something with. Like, could I bring it back maybe like this? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I'll tell you the truth. Sure. 
natural hair is no joke. Never know what you're going to get. Forget about the box of chocolates. Life is like natural hair. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't believe this. Okay. Because I, I like, see the, the reason I don't want to just trash it and just do the wig is because I like certain parts of it came out really nice and I really like the texture of certain parts but then others are like ooh, ooh. see in order to pull off a hairdo or anything I have to exude some confidence and I'm, I'm not feeling it I'm not feeling confident at all let me see something Let's go. Let's do this. Um, and my plan B will be to bring some pins, pull it all back, and make a big, um, if it looks too bad, just pull it all back into a, um, what you call that, you know, that old-fashioned bun. That's my plan B, if it just looks a hot mess. Okay, I'm out, okay. guys. Next time, thanks for going on this journey with me. Hi, everyone. It's after church, and I've had a wonderful day at church. So I'm back to simply show you what my hair looks like. I um, sang devotion. We were singing, and we happened to sing a medley of songs that were, shall I say, very interactive. We were dancing up in there. Yeah, so... um. I could feel the poodle forming. It was hot. I was sweating. And you know how the hair was hanging down on my neck some. So all of that was wet. The hair that was hanging on my ears. You know I was sweating here. I was hot. Sticky and hot. When I got off the stage. I went directly to the bathroom. Along with my tools. And I had my, my friend to just do this. Notice the difference between how the front of my hair looked this morning when I left and how it looks now. See this? See that? See this? That's what I'm talking about. The poodle. You never know what you're going to get. Anyway, just wanted you all to see that, okay? So there's my update on the Royal Crown twist out. I am going to try it again. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try it again. This time I'm going to do it without the other product. Because honestly I did have oh, about two or three other things on my hair when I put the Royal Crown on it. The next time I do it, it's going to be on freshly co-washed hair. And the only thing I'm going to put under it is the Kimmy Tube Leave-In. And I'll take you on my journey of that as well. Okay, have a good one, you guys. Until next time, be blessed.